going on gang? Matt from Matt's Red Show here. Today we are in uh, Rochester, Minnesota at Rochester Chevy, Rochester Chevrolet at an all-Corvette car show. Uh, just happened to be in the area today and uh, looked it up and found this car show. So we're going to go check it out. All Corvettes today. Some classics, some new, all years and models. Uh, it's Corvettes, man. You got to love that. So let's get in there and let's check out some cars, guys. Thanks for clicking on that button. Let's do this. Here we go. Here's a C2. Got to start off with the classic, of course. I think this is 1960. I'll correct myself if I'm wrong. I'm not positive. I like the white walls on it with the blue trim. Love the cockpits of these old original Corvettes. I've talked about it before, but my dad had a, a 1960 Corvette, and I used to get in that thing as a kid <laughs> and just sit in the cockpit and just go to town and just pretend I was driving. Loads of good times. with 420 horse. Here you go. He's saying the only difference between the 59 and the 60 is right here, the two lines here. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know it. Yeah. I got you. don't have the years marked on these Corvettes and I'm not super good at picking out the exact years on these Corvettes, but uh, this is a good one here. <laughs> Something so great, so classic about the Corvette flags, the Chevy flags that eventually just kind of became Corvette flags. Another one showing up here. Here we have a uh, late 70s, early 80s model. It's got to be 78, uh, 79, 80, somewhere around there. If you know, feel free to comment. Aha. Ooh, that one's quiet. Uh oh, here we have a, looks like a 55 Chevy showing up. He may have a Corvette engine in there or something. 
Oh, he's going that way. Where are you headed, bro? <laughs> This one has a 60 year badge on it, so this has got to be a 2013 then, I suppose, since it came out in 53. 53 being the original year of the Corvette. They didn't put too many of them out that year. I can't remember the exact number, not very many. They produced a lot more in 54, though, started to get the brand going more so in 54. This one's pretty cool. Look at the fire. Look at that. That's awesome. <laughs> we got the LS3 engine in it. You see more and more of these in hot rods at these classic car shows. A lot of people put these engines in their hot rods. This guy looks like he's got uh, carbon fiber right here. The spoiler. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that's uh, looks like carbon fiber. Is that uh, 55 that just drove up. It's really nice. Very cool. Looks like you just park right there. There we go. <laughs> Been a while. The 1969 Corvette. Uh, looks to be a 1967 Corvette. Looking good here. A 427. Nice. Got the wood steering wheel in there. You know I love that. folks excited about this car. I love the doors on this one. Thousand one convertible. Twenty years later, and here's what we got here. Here's one of the newer ones. Holy cow! This thing is pretty sharp. Let's go look at the mid engine back here. Look 
view there. Whew, that's nice. Another brand new one here. I love the wheels on this one. Look at the spokes in those things. It's incredible. Here's a fancy girl with all of her doors open for us. <laughs> Look at that. That looks so cool. Like it could just take off. <laughs> That's amazing. Let's take a look in the cockpit here and the engine here. I've heard only good things about the, the mid engine in these new Corvettes. Yeah, quite a few Corvettes showed up for the show here. Look at the stingray on the hood of this one. I love that. <laughs> I've not seen that on a Corvette before. The stingray logo like that, that prominent and displayed, you know? I like it, it looks good though. Reminiscent of like Pontiac's Firebird, the Phoenix. Okay, what do we got going on here? Looks like he's cut out two holes in the hood for what looks like a couple of turbos, I guess. <laughs> Not sure what's going on with this Corvette, but look at this. Yeah, those would just be a couple of turbos, right? <laughs> it's kind of amazing. I haven't seen that in a Corvette before. <laughs> the turbo's sticking up out of the hood. Well, this, I kind of love this though, honestly, because it's just the epitome of it don't need to look good, it just needs to go fast. <laughs> and there's something about that you have to love. <laughs> and I mean, at the end of the day, it's still a Corvette, so it's still going to look pretty good. Couple of side pipes on her. Man, that sun comes out and it just really, it's like, ka -chow, Lightning McQueen. one yeah, <laughs> I don't like the flat. Hey, bro. 
Rather you come in roasted corn. Good looking sting right here with the the tan top. Kind of like that. It's different. And if you look kind of closely in the hood here, the blue Stingray logo. I don't know if you guys can see that. And actually, I thought this car was black, but it's really dark navy blue. It's beautiful. The Stingray logo there. Almost looks like a guitar. <laughs> Fun for two. Digging the little red details here and there and the tires and the brakes. A little racing stripe. It's sharp. can't do that I don't think they're not all convertibles but this one certainly is that's cool Official pace car, the Indianapolis 500, May 27th of 2007. I always say I like to go find YouTube video of uh, this car at that race. Of course, you know, not this exact car, I always say, but a car like it and watch it cruise on down and start the race. It's always kind of fun to see. This is nice though. this we'll do some kind of fun with the with this one here <laughs> so my favorites from this show are this one here the 69 the 67 that was around here it took off already and then the, the 60 over there so good stuff fun show comes another one cruising by here We got a 69 here for sale. One thing I love about Corvettes too are the handles, the way you get in the door on, the, on these particular models. You gotta love the luggage rack. 
wonder if anybody actually ever uses these and puts luggage on them. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen somebody using this. Yeah, this is nice. It's got a few minor, you know, things going on in the, you know, in the paintwork in the front here. But it looks pretty cool. I do love that color, forest green. Nice. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> There's turbo charge going off over here. Alrighty guys, well that is all the time I have for today. Thanks for uh, clicking on that button for me today and coming to the show with me. It was fun, a little different. Never been to an all Corvette car show before, uh, but I had a good time. So I'm gonna travel on down the road, guys. Thanks for watching. Please click like, subscribe, and share the video for me, and uh, we'll see you on the next episode. Check you later, guys. Okay, bye.